Hello, I'm Vincent Cacase. Welcome to Cacase Fine Art. Over the years, I've painted uh, in both black and white and in color. And the black and white uh, started in 1995 with a commission of 10 paintings uh, of early Boca Raton scenes. Um, I'm going to show you some of those scenes and other black and white paintings. But first, I'd like to show you a little time lapse, uh, a quick sketch uh, of this painting. This is from my very first series of black and white paintings. I did 10 paintings in 1995 for a restaurant in Boca Raton called Chef Reddos. And 10 of these were in black and white of early Boca Raton scenes. Uh, this particular painting is called Inlet Bridge, the old Inlet Bridge. And this was the first bridge put across the inlet in Boca Raton. It was built in 1923. Uh, it was a wooden bridge on pilings and the center part lifted to allow the watercraft to go back and forth. Uh, this was electrically operated to raise the bridge, although the bridge operator had to manually close the bridge. You can, it was a, fav a favorite place for residents to go fishing and swimming. This painting is called Alligator Joe. This guy was uh, alligator wrestler and promoter of reptile shows. He had the Florida Alligator Farm, right where the west end of, of Worth Avenue meets the lagoon uh, in Palm Beach was. That was uh, the alligator farm location. And the Palm Beaches loved him. He used to go wrestle these alligators and, and have all sorts of reptile shows. This was done for the Wally Finley uh, exhibit I had in uh, March of 99 with 29 other paintings in black and white of early Florida scenes. I did a show for the Wally Finley Gallery up in Palm Beach of 30 black and white paintings of early Palm Beach and early Florida scenes. And this was one of them. Uh, this is the entrance to Meisner's residence. Uh, back in the V is on the west part of, of Worth Avenue. Uh, there's a tower back in there and that's where Meisner's apartment was. There's still a big bronze door with glass panels, and uh, you can see there's a beautiful little pizza place there in the courtyard, and uh, you can see where Johnny Brown, Meisner's monkey, was buried right there, just outside this door. This is from a series I did of paintings of early scenes in Florida. Uh, Florida had much shallower waters than up in New England. And they brought down some of these skipjacks, other wooden fishing boats from the Chesapeake Bay. And they refit the bottom so that the keel wasn't so, so uh, deep in the water. So they're more shoal drafted so they could get in and out of these shallower tropical waters. Uh, this one I entitled Rum Runner. Uh, I can see these guys running this uh, uh, rum from the islands back to the mainland of Florida. This is Jelly Roll Morton and his Red Hot Peppers. Uh, they were recording uh, back as early as 1926. Uh, Jelly Roll was a whorehouse pianist in New Orleans and was a bit of a braggart and said that he had invented jazz. But what he did do was he wrote down the earliest jazz uh, uh, things, to the paper, put them on the paper. And they were very rhythmically sophisticated things and he deserves all the credit for really beginning that sort of process in jazz. Uh, I listened to his music, which is very exuberant, while I painted this. This painting is entitled Night Flight. I 
had been looking at a lot of Charles Birchfield paintings. He's a tremendous American watercolor painter who abstracted nature enough to make it almost uh, uh, very symbolic and very uh, to, to the spiritual side of uh, something saying more with its symbolisms. Uh, I like that uh, this is done in the moonlight at night. I've got the three uh, black crown night herons in the scene moving through this uh, moonlit landscape. Thank you.